This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org. We end today's show on yesterday's May Day activities in New York. Thousands of students, workers and others rallied in Foley Square in Lower Manhattan to mark May Day. Jamil Medbek. In this current moment, after seven months of Zionist aggression against Gaza, uh, is to underscore that there is a popular movement in support of Palestine, not just the students that are mobilizing, but also organized labor across the United States. That's really important. Um, after the mass arrests yesterday, we saw uh, faculty at CUNY announce a sick out for today. Uh, we saw NYU uh, faculty announce a grade strike, and we've seen other actions being taken in support of the students. We know the United States uh, manufactures bombs that are being dropped on the people in, in, in Gaza, the Palestinians, uh, and the, the Arab population more broadly. And uh, in that sense, having an organized labor movement that is willing to advocate for the Palestinian struggle to chip away at the strength of Western imperialism more broadly is essential. And for the Palestinians, in, uh, the, the inverse is true. Like, it is our, our mandate to be part of a broader left in this country to help to struggle for worker rights here, understanding that a stronger labor movement means less of an ability to enact uh, this destructive foreign policy. <laughs> My name is Raya Sana. I'm a Palestinian researcher and organizer with the Workers in Palestine Initiative. We have Palestinian unions have been organizing um, and calling for the colleagues um, in the labor movement and unions internationally to stop arming Israel. So since the call in October, um, in, on the 16th of October, uh, workers internationally have galvanized and have organized in solidarity with the call. We have seen workers in Barcelona uh, port declare that they will not be, they will be stopping arms shipments destined to Israel. Workers in Belgium and transport workers have blocked the supply of weapons to Israel. At the port of Oakland, we also saw workers here in the U.S. take concrete solidarity and action. Internationally, workers have been organizing in their, in their workplaces and in their unions in solidarity and to heed the call. We see this also with the UAW here in the U.S. and other unions who've been calling for ceasefire and picking up the call from Palestinian workers and Palestinian unions. This year, the May Day comes at a moment where we Palestinians are subjected to an un, uh, kind of undescribable onslaught um, an undescribable violence, and it's an important moment in our history to remember that workers do have the power to shape the world. Workers do have the power to influence, um, to influence kind of what happens not only locally, but to influence uh, processes of colonial violence and dispossession on a, on a bigger scale. students and, and faculty at, uh, on, on campuses in the U.S. advocating for divestment of Israeli uh, of, of military industries is a prime example of uh, the entrenchment of militarism and military industries to all aspects of our lives, uh, including our educational institutions. These campaigns at the moment am amplify how the campaign the call from Palestinian workers to stop arming Israel is a transformative demand for all of us to be involved in um, on campuses, in our work, in our, in our various workplaces as well. As a UAW member and as the president of my local, UAW must use its political power to put teeth into their call for a ceasefire. Day that is normally 
is crushing to our sense of being a human being. I stand here before you today as a member of Healthcare Workers for Palestine, New York City. Hey! This is a lot closer to them. So I'm just going to forewarn that I'll be speaking about the mass graves that our media has so intentionally neglected. Last weekend, last weekend, at least 283 bodies were found in a mass grave in Nasser Medical Complex in Khan Yunus in Gaza. These bodies, our family's bodies, were found three meters into the ground, covered in waste, headless, skinless, organless, some of them zip-tied, and some of our hockey workers still in their scrubs. Three days later on Democracy Now!, we find out it wasn't 283 bodies, it was at least 300. Three days after that, we find out it's at least 400. And y'all, we're tired of playing this game of numbers. I am speaking to you as a student from the NYU encampment in solidarity with encampments and workers and to our administrations. We're not going away. We hold our ground. We say to our administrations to be suspended for Gaza is the highest honor. Thanks to Hannah Elias, Sharina Nadura, and Messiah Rhodes, those voices from the Foley Square rally on May Day. And that does it for our show. Democracy Now! is produced with Renee Fels, Mike Burke, Dina Guzder, Sharif Abdel Kudus, Messiah Rhodes, Nermeen Sheikh, Maria Tarasena, Tammy Warrenoff, Sharina Nadura, Sam Alkoff, Tay Maria Astu, Joe Robbie, Karen, Honey Masood, and Hannah Elias. Our executive director is Julie Crosby. Special thanks to Becca Staley, John Randolph, Paul Powell, Mike DeFilippo, Miguel Nagara. I'm Amy Goodman with Nermeen Sheikh for another edition of Democracy Now!